this video, we will guide you through the process of installing a tank-mounted Lanair XT model waste oil heater. If you are interested in or planning to install a Lanair waste oil heater, this video should help. It's important to follow safety guidelines when working on mechanical, plumbing, and electrical equipment. Only allow qualified technicians to work on your system and ensure that the appropriate personal protective equipment and safe practices are used throughout the work. Before accepting delivery of your unit, inspect the shipment to ensure that everything is present and undamaged. If you encounter signs of missing or damaged parts, delay acceptance of the shipment and contact Lanair customer service immediately. After receiving shipment, start with the heater cabinet box. Remove the packing straps and lid and locate the accessory box within. Begin laying out the contents in an organized manner until the product manual can be located. Pause this video and read the product manual in its entirety before proceeding with the installation. Once familiar with the safety and installation requirements, continue to unpack the parts and accessories and identify any additional parts you will need to ensure that you have the necessary materials to complete the installation. Identify an appropriate location to install the furnace, ensuring that safe clearances can be maintained, the unit can be easily serviced, and there is adequate vertical allowance to properly install the chimney flue. Position the tank in the intended location and secure it to the floor. Using thread sealant, assemble the ball valve, plug, and nipple, then install the drain assembly into the lower side port of the tank. Use additional plugs to plug any other side ports. Continue to use thread sealant on all hard pipe fitting connections. Loosely mount the pump assembly to the bracket provided on the tank, allowing it the freedom to slide for later adjustment. Using a vise, pre-assemble the lower fuel pickup assembly, which is comprised of the pickup tube assembly, a check valve, an adapting elbow, and the pickup strainer assembly. Be sure to install the check valve in the proper orientation, with the arrow pointing in the direction of fuel flow. Install the lower fuel pickup assembly on the tank using the bung opposite the pump bracket. Begin building the upper fuel pickup by attaching a T-fitting to the top of the pickup tube. Next, attach the longer vertical nipple and cap it off. Using a vise, pre-assemble the primary strainer assembly, which is comprised of the primary strainer, an intake adapter bushing, the shorter horizontal nipple, an output adapter bushing, a brass flare fitting adapter, and a vacuum gauge. Affix the primary strainer assembly to the pickup tee. Loosely connect the pre-assembled copper pipe with flare fittings to the primary strainer assembly. Remove the inlet plug from the fuel pump and install the brass flare fitting adapter. Some fuel may be present from the pump's factory testing. Connect the copper flare fitted pipe from the primary strainer to the fuel pump and tighten the fittings. You can now tighten the pump assembly to the bracket to lock it into position. Locate the fuel return pipe packed in one of the tank stand legs. Using a vise, pre-assemble the oil pressure bypass regulator, which is comprised of the regulator assembly, a threaded nipple, the return pipe adapter, an intake compression fitting elbow, and an output compression fitting elbow. Orient the elbows so that the pump side elbow will be pointed downward and the burner side elbow will be pointed upward when the assembly is in its installed position. Attach the oil pressure bypass regulator assembly to the return pipe and install the assembly to the small bung on the top of the tank. Fit the tank stand legs into the receiving posts of the tank. Orient the mounting platform on the forklift so that it will align with the tank stand legs and slide the heater cabinet onto the platform, making sure that the heater is also oriented correctly. Raise the forklift enough to center the heater cabinet on the platform and attach it with sheet metal screws. Carefully align the tank stand legs and slowly lower the heater cabinet and platform into the legs. Install the threaded nipple, adapter, and compression fitting elbow to the outlet port of the fuel pump. Measure the distance of a route for a copper pipe to connect the fuel pump outlet to the input of the oil pressure bypass regulator and use a cutting wheel to cut a piece of piping to the appropriate length. Using a pipe forming tool, bend the soft copper line along the route of the pipeline, being careful not to kink or crimp the line. Slide the compression nuts and ferrules onto the ends of the bent section of pipe and install it onto the unit. Repeat this process for a copper pipe to connect the oil pressure bypass regulator output to the input of the burner. Connect a compression fitting elbow to the input of the burner and install the pipe. Use the bracket on the heater cabinet to mount the secondary air pressure regulator and provide a compressed air supply from a primary air pressure regulator capable of sustaining two cubic feet per minute at 30 PSI to the unit. Refer back to the product manual for additional air supply requirements and guidelines. The product manual also contains important requirements and guidelines for the dedicated electrical supply to the unit. If you have questions about your particular installation, contact Lanair Technical Support for further assistance. 
Use the electrical conduit provided to connect the pump to the junction box on the heater cabinet. This is also the location for an electrician to connect your incoming power supply conduit. Leave the circuit breaker off and locked out until the unit is complete and the heater is ready to begin the startup sequence. Replace the junction box cover and connect the wiring harness to the burner. Secure any excess slack in the conduit to the frame of the unit. Install the thermostat on the wall and connect a pair of low voltage wires from the thermostat to the T1 and T2 terminals of the primary control of the burner. Plan your exhaust chimney flue installation with a roofer and pre-assemble your T and damper so that the damper door hinge is parallel to the floor and accessible for adjustment. Install the manometer to the heater, ensuring that it is level. Turn the zero set knob counterclockwise to its limit, then turn it clockwise for a full rotation. Next, remove the fill cap and slowly add manometer fluid until it just becomes visible in the gauge. Connect the tubing from the draft probe to the low port of the manometer. With the probe not inserted into the chimney flue, turn the zero set knob until the manometer gauge reads zero. Find or create a small hole for the manometer probe after the heater outlet and before the TN damper. Insert the probe. Once the electrical supply and chimney flue work has been completed, your unit is ready to proceed to the initial startup sequence. We hope this video has been helpful with installing your Lanair waste oil heater and letting you start enjoying America's best value in heating.